We are about to enter Neila, in which the doors to the gates of repentance are starting to close. Neila means closing. And although there are traditions that say that the gates of repentance don't really close, they say stay cracked open up until Hoshana Rabbah next week. And then some other traditions say there's still a tiny little crack up until Hanukkah. <laughs> And we pray for forgiveness every single day, three times a day, so it can't really be closed. This is really the central time of year where we're here focused on that idea of repentance. Even though the door, the gates, are always open, these are the last couple of hours that we're expressly focused on it in community together. And so this is our time to say our most our most pressing prayers. So as when we get to our repetition of the Amidah, which won't be for a while, but when we get to our repetition of the Amidah, if you would like to come up to the Ark, either by yourself or with your family, you will be welcome to do so as the Ark will be open for all of that repetition. You're welcome to line up here. And I'm told that every year, we, uh, every year we announce that one or two families at a time should line up and then slowly, one by one, you can make your way. I've, I'm told that that doesn't tend to uh, happen so much, but if you could try, that would be wonderful. If not, that's wonderful too. But you're welcome to, in the repetition of Ni'ila, repetition of the Amidah, to come up to the Ark with your family and spend some time, and then you'll come down uh, this way. And I also want to, before we continue, say thank you to uh, Rachel Levy for you have been turning pages this entire high holiday season, and it is incredible the kind of uh, the the kind of calisthenics that takes for the entire <laughs> high holiday season. So thank you for keeping us together. For one final prayer for peace in the year to come, because this is a year when we really need it. We always really need it, but this is a year when truly it's at the forefront of our minds. I'd like to read a prayer of mothers for, the life and, for life and peace. It is written by two mothers, one Israeli, one Palestinian. Sheikha Ibtisam Mahmid and Rabbi Tamar Elad Applebaum. The English translation is by Rabbi Amichai Lau Levi. God of life, who heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, May it be your will to hear the prayer of mothers, for you did not create us to kill each other, not to live in fear, anger, or hatred in your world, but rather you have created us so we can grant permission to one another to sanctify your name in life, your name of peace in the world. For these things I weep, my eye, my eye runs down with water. For our children crying at nights, for parents holding their children with despair and darkness in their hearts, for a gate that is closing, and who will open it before the day has ended. And with my tears and prayers which I pray, and with the tears of all women who deeply feel the pain of these difficult days, I raise my hands to you. Please, God, have mercy on us. Hear our voice that we shall not despair, that we shall see life in each other, that we shall have mercy for each other, that we shall have pity on each other, that we shall hope for each other. And we shall write our lives in the book of life. For your sake, God of life, let us choose life. For you are peace, your world is peace, and all that is yours is peace, and so shall it be your will. And let us say amen. amen. We'll continue